so now it appears that individuals are under the impression that they can just send out challenges and just challenge me. I'm Brother Larry is weak. Um, I really don't think you guys have a realistic perspective of reality. You understand? You 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 deal with mythology. I don't think you have a grasp of reality. Brother Larry deals with reality. Brother Larry's not into mythology. Um, I made this point clear in the past. There have been mythological people throwing mythological things at me. And I have been swatting them like flies. Now, I, I really don't press upon you individuals with these grandiose ideas of who you are. And whether or not the people in the Bible... Uh, you people, <laughs> it behooves me to think that you would regard yourself as the people in the Bible when the people in the Bible is dead. That's why they asked in the Bible. They dead thousands of years ago. So, even if you think you are the descendants of the people in the Bible. <laughs> and that's just mythology. Um, I don't have a problem with you believing that. You see, Brother Larry doesn't think religion is the problem. Okay? Religion is just something that the problem does. You understand? The problem engages in religion. The problem engages in politics. The problem engages in rhetoric. The problem engages in a lot of things. And religion is just one of those things. Now, a lot of you focus on religion because religion was a tool of the oppressor. Okay? But what you need to really focus on is... Prior to the oppressor using religion to oppress you, you had your own spooky religion that you was using to oppress yourself. You understand? Cultural traditions. When you look at the practices of people on planet Earth, I mean, people were sacrificing other people. You understand? To appease their gods. Or because they thought their gods were angry and didn't send water for rain. You know, people had some strange ass ideas. And what I try to drive home to people is that prior to the invention of television, <laughs> these ideas played out in the real world. Okay? So now that you have television, something that some people refer to as the idiot box, right? And it can be a very powerful learning tool, I have to tell you. But now that you have television, people's imagination goes to the recreation of stories or the invention of stories to be portrayed on television and movies and that sort of genre in order to entertain other people. Now, in days gone past, you know, I, I, I listen to a lot of individuals, especially these Europeans, and they regard ancient people almost like amoeba. You know, they can't believe they built monuments and temples and where could they have learned this 
technology and what technology did they use the only thing that I think you really need to remember is that there was no television so instead of sitting around watching a box <laughs> and listening to stories people were actually doing things okay so building a temple is not that significant of a deal I mean you sit here now and you marvel at their creativity but when you look around don't you see creative people all around you don't people create things I mean don't they <laughs> so why would you be surprised that people could create damn stone buildings I mean we're not talking about microprocessor chips here we're not talking about very large scale integrated circuits we're not even talking about transistors we're just talking about stone blocks y'all marvel at the size of the blocks but once again they had no television they had nothing to do it was they wasn't watching the game you understand they wasn't watching the game if it was a game they was playing it and how long could you do that so they had a lot of time on their hands what you might consider leisure time right but they functioned as a society for the benefit of the society as a whole so when you see a group of people functioning for the benefit of the whole it's not hard to see that they could pool their resources in which would be their labor their time and create these monuments you understand now that's not significant to me that there's stone buildings that because people build stuff birds build stuff man come on now god damn we on planet earth people taking rocks and stacking them shits up on top of each other cutting the rocks so that they shaped in a nice way and y'all marveling at this and yet and still you profess to be modern technologically advanced man <laughs> and you wonder why lions bite people you wonder why tigers bite people too right modern technologically advanced man 